Abstract Boss. It is Friday! So, hopefully you guys get some extra time this weekend so you guys can sit down and paint a geode with me. I do not do my geodes with resin. Honestly, I'm not very good at it. And I'll fully admit that because I need some practice. But, I am really good with acrylic paint. So, I do my geodes with acrylic paint and a lot of glitter. So, hopefully you guys enjoy what I'm going to be doing. But the reason I am doing this, because I have done a geode video before, but honestly, the video was extremely bad. It was shaking and moving. I had a popsicle stick thing that I made myself with super glue and popsicle sticks to hold up my phone. So, um, yeah, I definitely have a tripod and a camera set up now. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. And let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Let's get started. Okay, so... Honestly, this is the third geode I've done today. I don't know what is going on with me, but I'm just not liking what I'm doing. So I'm going to just throw this one together. I am doing this with the confetti glitter I got from Michaels. Um, I actually originally got this to do in some of my resin molds, but I don't know, just kind of liked it. So the first thing you want to do is you want to pour a middle with some white. And then just let that white spread out a bit and be a little crazy. Okay? And then you can go ahead and sprinkle the glitter. I prefer to start mine with some type of white or clear, uh, not really clear, I guess, a, a white glitter or some type of color. Um, I've done like black glitter and stuff like that too on some of my geodes. So just cover the whole thing. Use the, the paint as a glue. And then, tilt it off. Okay. There we go. Ooh, that's gonna look cool. I like it, I like it. Anywho, the next thing you wanna do is, once you have your center, you want to build off of that center. So, what I did was I mixed up a purple it is Liquitech Basics Color Acrylic uh, Deep Violet. And the way that you want to play around with this now is you want to create two things. And you also want to have a straw readily available. <laughs> I like the bendy straws. They're a little bit easier to mess around with. And then the next thing that you want to do, since this is slanted inwards, you kind of want to move a little fast. So I'm going to create a purple outline and it's going to come together and a white outline. Like I said, move kind of fast if you can. And then you just want to blow on it and make it go crazy together. A little bit more white right here kind of fell over the side. A little bit more white. So I think that gives it a really cool appearance when you do something like that. Um, it really gives it a lot of uniqueness. So I do not have silicone added into my purple um, or even my white actually. So this is just happening on its own. So I really like it. I did mix it with pouring medium though. So it could be the pouring medium that's creating these tiny minute cells, which by all means go for it. I don't mind. The next thing that I want to do is, of course, bring out my glitter glass. This is like my all-time favorite thing to add onto a painting um, with my geodes. So I'm just going to sprinkle that along the edges here. And I have to be super careful to make sure that it lasts all the way around because I'm almost out. 
and you just want to create a really nice small line of it. Um, if you get some where the paint is just really trying to take over, just add a little bit more because I really want this to stick out. Now when you finish this with resin, it does um, leave some of that texture. So I'll show you guys some that I just did and I finished them with resin last night. You can still see some of the texture and feel some of the texture and actually I think that it adds a lot to it. So it's so cool being able to rub your hand along here and feel what the artist did, what I did, but you know, when I sell it. So you can still feel the texture on some of my geodes and this is kind of the one that I was basing this off of you just you can make it with a popsicle stick you can kind of just twist it around but honestly the idea is to just be crazy with it and that really adds a lot the next thing that I want to do is go ahead and take some of my purple again and just create a really small purple line and to me I feel like the key is to have both small and thick sections. So this obviously is a very thick section and this one is going to be more of a thinner section. But everything is based off of you. You're the artist so make sure you do something that you prefer. If you like the big sections, do the big sections. I think that painting on a bigger canvas can be more fun and exciting but I really wanted you guys to be able to see what I was doing so that's why I am doing the smaller canvas right now. Some of the white was still left over there, so that's fine. It all happens. It adds something extra. A little something something. Okay. Bring this purple, trying to pull that down onto the side here. And I'll have to redo that glass glitter once everything dries because I don't want all this paint to be flowing all over the end, uh, the edge because that would just make a disastrous mess. Okay, so I really love, 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 love what's going on here. So let me show you guys that you can use glue. Works just fine. You spread it around with the popsicle stick. Doesn't matter if paint gets in there. Sometimes it's best not to use glue only because it does dry clear. So if you want to cover the whole thing with glitter, then obviously you're fine. But if some of that doesn't get covered with glitter, then you're going to be able to see that canvas. So that's why I use paint most of the time. There we go. And then you can use the popsicle stick to kind of move it create that more definitive line if you're wanting that. It's up to you. All right, so the glitter came out a little fast. I'll just gently blow on that. Take my popsicle stick back into the line, bring that purple back out. Okay, so I'm loving what happened here. Only thing I'm gonna do is add a little bit more of my glass glitter onto this part. There we go, cool beans. Take some more purple. All right, there we go. Sides I'll have to do once this dries.